Hey everyone, and welcome back to the BrandCoin YouTube channel. And in today's episode, we're gonna be taking an in-depth look on how to power up your Bitmate Antminer S19s or any other high-powered ASIC at home. And this will be a complete sort of setup, electrical setup and how-to. So without any further ado, guys, let's jump right into the intro. I can get fly, fly, fly. Fly, fly, fly. I can get fly, fly, fly. Thanks for joining me again, everyone. And in a few seconds, we'll jump right into my mining garage. But if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. It really does help us out. So here we are in my mining garage. And we definitely have the uh, Bitmain Antminer S19J Pro Plus model running, as you can see here. And uh, now we'll go uh, jump right into the electrical setup. So now we're taking a look at the electrical panel in my garage. And this happens to be a Siemens brand panel, although you could use whichever uh, pan brand panel you wish. And it, here it's a 200 amp panel, leaving me a lot of room to power up many crypto miners. And here are the original uh, breakers that came with the panel. And it also had a bunch of room for me to install three 30 amp, 120 to 240 volt Eaton brand breakers. And I was just want to make sure that the Eaton brand is compatible with the Siemens brand or you want to make sure that the breakers you install are compatible with your panel brand name as well. And then it's actually wired down here to these three boxes and the wiring, you have to make sure the wiring will be also compatible. It will be able to support 240 volts and 30 amp as well. And then these boxes contain the NEMA LP30P plugs, which are twist lock style. And uh, also the boxes are 4.6 inch cubic boxes. And you can see down, these are this is my PDU that's plugged into them. And it goes all the way down here, it's sort of like a power strip for uh, miners. And plugged into those are C13, C14 power cables. I suggest getting pretty long power cables as well. And I'll be putting all this information down in the description below so you guys don't have to take any notes whatsoever on any of this stuff. And you also want to make sure the power cables can support at least 15 amp per cable. And then those power cables are plugged all the way into my uh, Antminer S19 Pro, as you can see here as well as an ethernet for internet. That's the yellow wire there as well. And this is the whole basic setup um, that you need. All the little parts you need um, all set up and definitely get a uh, licensed electrician. And you could find them on Kijiji or if you're in the US, Craigslist. And you definitely ne negotiate with these guys. I found electricians for about $50 to $60 an hour. Uh, after negotiation, you could offer them a cash payment on the on the spot if it will help help them at all. And uh, good luck, happy mining, guys! Thanks everyone for joining me today again on the Brandcoin YouTube channel, and we'll see you all soon in the next episode.